UNM may face fines or future lawsuits as part of an investigation into its finances. Target 7's Chris Guardaro is live at the university's athletic headquarters with what he has learned about that controversy. Yeah, the state auditor and attorney general is looking through the numbers here at the athletic department, but so far they say it doesn't look criminal, but financial and regulatory rules may have been broken. Luxury suites at the pit, worth tens of thousands of dollars, but some didn't pay a dime. It is a lot of uh, money that's out there that was owed to the university, and there's lots of places that could be using that. There is no situation where anyone should be given a free press box, ever. State Auditor Tim Keller was one of the first to uncover the $400,000 of missing suite payments. State Auditor Keller told us that whistleblowers from within the UNM umbrella first told them about the problems with the athletic department's finances. Keller suspects the fundraising arm of the university, the UNM Foundation, may have offered these seats as a favor. This seems more of the tone of freebies, you know, junkets, perks. Uh, but when you add that up for a large athletics department, that's a big deal. 22 suite holders have still not paid back the university, and 388000 is still owed. The foundation tells us they've called each of the people who owe money, and most are willing to pay them back. These are our taxpayer dollars, and so none of them should be misused in any way. The special audit also revealed a golf trip to Scotland for boosters that was paid for by UNM. It's likely the revelation was part of the reason athletic director Paul Krebs decided to retire. Tim Keller hopes his audit and the overall investigation will teach UNM to handle funds more carefully. They have to get capable and qualified staff who's going to catch this on their own. This, even the fact that we have to do this investigation shows that there's problems. Now, Target 7 has asked for a list of names of the suite holders who haven't paid the university back. And so far, the UNM Foundation and the university haven't handed them, handed them out. So what we did is we filed a formal information request, and we're waiting to hear back for those results. For Target 7, I'm Chris Guardaro.